This is the Elgato Stream Deck Plus. It features eight pressable keys, a touch screen, and four adjustable dial knobs, which you can use to mess with things like turning your lights up and down. Now, these are things that we all knew. However, what you probably did know is that this could be used to video edit. Why ain't no way, boy? Let's talk about it what he said. Now the Stream Deck Plus will be compatible with all of the major editing softwares, Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro. All of the big ones will be compatible. However, I'm gonna be using DaVinci Resolve for the sake of my tutorial as that's what I use to edit. And I'm not a master at everything DaVinci Resolve, but for what I have used the Stream Deck Plus for, it's done a great job at really condensing my workflow. As I mentioned previously, Sideshow FX is who created this plugin for the Stream Deck Plus, and they have a full on tutorial on how to set this thing up because it's a little bit extensive. You're gonna have to download each of the plugins and then manually go in and click through and make sure that they're compatible. However, once you get them set up, you can easily go to the different tabs. You have your media tab, your cut tab, your edit tab. And with e within each tab, you can kind of use the touch screen to swipe over and then your dials to do things like scroll. Let's see if you guys can make sure you guys see. Scroll, switch things, zoom in and out, toggle left to right. It's very extensive. There's a ton of things to do with all of these tools, which we're gonna demonstrate at the end of the video here. There's also the fusion tab and then the fair light tab, which for those of you who use DaVinci Resolve, no fair light is your audio. So doing things like reverse and eclipse, muting, dimming, all types of fun things. There's a ton to do in here. So no matter what side of DaVinci you primarily use, you can find some use out of this stream deck. Now for me, I'm simple. All I do is cut videos, trim them, cut them up, maybe add some, some effects over the top. But the hardest part for me is having to go through and manually trim and cut all of the videos. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I can really get my workflow a lot faster in the demonstration. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nugget. This is Yo Nug Gaming. Here I love to cover the latest in video game news, reviews, as well as tech. If those are some things that interest you, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, for sake of this video, I really wanna demonstrate how fast you can really start to edit things with the Stream Deck Plus. So I'm gonna show you guys in about a minute or less how quickly I can get some clips of me swinging from this long video. So we're just gonna scroll through, still scrolling. Okay, now we got to a point, like a really cool point here, where just before Miles is about to take off. Now, if you look at my hands here, if you go to, if you scroll over on your Stream Deck to the part where it says time start, or trim start, I'm sorry, trim start. That's gonna trim the beginning of the video. If you get to the other side, you can go to the other one that says delete gaps, boom. And then we're gonna scroll through until we get to a sufficient point of swinging, maybe there. And then we'll trim to the end, boom. Now you can scroll back over to the beginning and you can actually, another cool thing, if you touch on the touchpad, like right there, you can play pause. So play pause. So we'll back to the beginning and then play. And then there is a video of us swinging through New York City that I'm able to trim and cut in about less than a minute and a half through New York City. And again, that's just a quick demonstration on how useful the Stream Deck Plus can really be if you really want to take the extra steps to learn about all the tools and all the fun things that we can do. A couple of things that I did want to mention, um, over here at the very end, there's a thing called custom tabs. So on the custom tabs, you can set these to do whatever you want within DaVinci Resolve. I haven't set mine up yet because honestly, I'm very happy with how everything is currently, but let's say hypothetically, you wanted to maybe make a custom tab for something that you used a lot, I'm not sure, maybe like a zoom or a zoom out or just a hot key that you normally would use, you would go to the custom tab pages to use it. Now I'm hoping this helped somebody out there. If it did, let me know in the comments down below and make sure you like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more gaming tech videos on the way soon. Happy creating.